Okay, boys and girls, today we're talking about the little through night TW10 weapon mounted light or pistol mounted light, whatever you want to call it. And this one in particular is the limited edition Black Scout Survival. So, before we get into this light review, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. This is the Through Night TW10 weapon mounted light or pistol mounted light, and today we're going to be talking about it and my use of it and kind of the overall pros and cons to this little guy. Now, I currently have it mounted to my Glock 19X, and the, and the X has a two round plus extension there, so it gives you guys kind of an idea of just how big this light is and how big. Uh, the handgun is. So this is a pretty long slide, or pretty long frame I should say, and uh, yeah, I think it actually fits this gun pretty well, honestly. The look, maybe the tan version would look a little bit more at home on a tan firearm, but the black version looks just fine, kind of offsets with all the other black, you know, bits and pieces of the tan firearm. So let's start with the pros and cons of this weapon mounted light after I ran about a hundred rounds through this little guy. So. Yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so let's start off with the pros to this little guy. So the first pro for me, the biggest pro is, or has to be, the price point. Now, there's a lot of different weapon-mounted lights out there from companies like Olight, Streamlight, Surefire, but all of them usually have a starting price, except for maybe Surefire, so they're a little bit more expensive. But all of them have a general starting price of around $100, if not even more. And that is where this one is quite different. For this, you're getting a Through Night, which is a good, reputable brand. They've been making flashlights for a while, and they, they're they a pretty solid brand, but you are getting this flashlight for around, or this weapon mounted light, for around 55 to 50 bucks. And so overall, the price on this guy is very hard to beat because it is so low, and even if, you know, you see some O-lights on sale for like 80 bucks, this is still 50 bucks, and so uh, it doesn't have quite the same output as those, but it has a very, very good price, so definitely a great light if price is a barrier to entry for a weapon-mounted light. So the next pro to this thing definitely has to be its battery life. Now I will say all weapon mounted lights do not have phenomenal battery life, especially in comparison to like a normal flashlight. This one has about 100, if I remember correctly it has about 130 to 100 40 minutes of battery life on it, and uh, that's actually pretty good for a weapon mounted light. Most lights are getting under an hour to under two hours for sure, so the fact that this one has over two hours battery life is pretty good uh, for what it is considering. So battery life is definitely pretty awesome. The other thing for me is that it has decent output. It is, like I said, not the best. It comes in at 900 lumens. There are other, you know, uh, competitors that come in about 1500 to 1100 lumens. So this is on the lower side of output, but 900 lumens is nothing to shrug your shoulders at. This is still pretty good. And once again, you know, when you see it has about like 250 meter throw, that is pretty decent because most times you're going to be using a weapon mounted light inside of, especially if it's attached to a pistol, you know, inside of 30 meters. So, you know, you don't necessarily need a super crazy throw, you know, out to like three or 400 meters. You know, this is something that unless you can hit that far, you don't really need it to throw that far. So this thing certainly for realistic use as a home defense handgun kind of light or self-defense on the street kind of light certainly has more than enough lumen output for those um, types of environments. I, those types of environments it needs. So for sure, the output could be brighter, the throw could be further, but realistically speaking, it is pretty solid. So the next one for me is a bit of a pro and a con, and that is the lack of modes. So for this flashlight, you really only have two modes. Both are the 900 lumens themselves, but if you hold down the light, as you can see what I'm doing with my trigger finger, uh, this will engage the kind of momentary mode. So my hand is, or my finger is depressing the light, but the moment I let go, it turns off. And then the next mode is if you just want it on and you can let go, um, you just tap it. So just tapping it uh, brings the light on and it will be on until you turn it off. 
and holding it allows you to have the kind of momentary mode. So if you're just searching or you're not actually engaging, you want to hold it and then you can turn it off at any moment. And if you're actually going to use the light or use the firearm in conjunction with the light, you'll want to keep it on by tapping it. So for me, this is kind of a pro and a con. Uh, one, on one hand, what I like about the lack of modes is that this doesn't have a lot of frustrating garbage that will get in your way. If you need to pull this out of a holster or, you know, grab this off the nightstand and use it, you know, you just press it, you know, you, you know what you're going to get every time. It's going to be 900 lumens. It's not going to be any variable brightness garbage. You know, it's going to be delivering what you need when you need it. So in a way, I would kind of like to see multiple modes, but you certainly don't need them. And like I said, in another way, I kind of like that there isn't multiple modes for this because, uh, you know, if you need to use this in an actual self-defense situation, having multiple modes just creates the ability of frustration or creates the chance for frustration and it creates the chance of not being able to properly use the light in a moment's notice. So I give it a pro for lack of modes because it's very simple to use and you know what you're going to get every time. But it would have also been nice to have a few different types of modes so that maybe if you don't need 100% of the lumens all the time, that would be an option. But it is what it is. Okay, so like I said, uh, the first of my cons is going to be the lack of modes. I do wish that there was some adjustability, but there is none with this particular light. Like I said, it's a pro, it is a con as well. The second for me is the bulk and the weight. So for this flashlight, or for this weapon mounted light, for me, I find it is a little bit bulky and a little bit... Uh, large, especially for the fact that this is on the lower end of the spectrum, or maybe at least mid-range on the spectrum of light output. I feel like this flashlight is very big, and there are things, there are flashlights from other companies like Olight that are a bit smaller, and you know, they have like a higher output. So for me, I'm a little bit detracted by the size. And of course, subsequently, that also means the bulk and weight. So without a fully loaded magazine, because I have a fully loaded 19 round magazine here, and when it's inserted into the gun, the gun feels perfectly at weight. But with the magazine out, it definitely has a lot of front weight to it. Now, I understand if you put any light on the front of your gun, it's going to add weight out front, but this feels like it is a noticeable amount of weight out front, unless you have a fully loaded magazine in it. So, that is a bit of a con to me. It is a bit bulky and a bit hefty. So the last big con for me, or kind of the last two cons that kind of run together, is battery incompatibility and charging. So this battery in here is an 18350, and uh, this particular flashlight will only work with through nights 18350s. There is no other, you know, option to run a light so or another battery with this setup. So if you do get this light, you're pretty much locked into through night branded 18350s and you can only use an 183 and you can only use an 18350 in this particular light. There's no other kind of backups or alternatives that I'm aware of. So unfortunately, you are kind of locked into that, though that's not the biggest con for me. And then, like I said, secondly, the kind of other side to this con is the charging. So there are other lights out there, once again, like Olight, that have a ma magnetic strip kind of charger on the bottom. This one, unfortunately, you have to take the flashlight off of the firearm and the charging port is on the back. So you can charge this firearm, or this firearm, you can charge this weapon mounted light. Uh, you can charge it, but you do have to take it off. And so, unfortunately, this isn't a quick detach, but it comes off pretty easily. So you have to charge it through this little port right here. And like I said, that is at the back of the flashlight. So you have to remove the firearm anytime you want to charge it. And then when you're ready to rock and roll, you have to reattach it to the firearm. And, 
and go about it that way. So it's a little bit unfortunate and it's a little bit bulky and cumbersome to charge. Luckily, once again, with the fact that this especially does have a higher battery life than most other weapon mounted lights, you shouldn't have to charge it as much and hopefully you won't have to charge it too much because it is a weapon mounted light. So unless you're at the range training, you, this thing probably won't see you know, a whole lot of activation, hopefully. <laughs> should be pulling this thing out to search for the dime under the couch so to speak you know this is a weapon mounted light so hopefully it won't see too much use uh, in that regard but anyways kind of wrapping it up what do I think this light is best for or what do I think that this light uh, has its or serves the best purpose so ultimately I would be attracted to this light especially for the price point for two reasons or if I was in kind of two groups and that is one if I was just getting into weapon mounted lights and I like I said didn't want to spend a lot of money to get into it this would be a fantastic option it has a very reasonable price point and like I said you are getting this from a reputable brand so you're not just buying some random Chinese weapon mounted light that might not even work after five shots and you know I ran already 100 rounds through this flashlight being mounted it's doing just fine uh, and I expect it to last you know much you know much longer but um yeah, so this is a great entry level weapon mounted light if you're looking to get into it. You know, once again, you don't have a whole lot of modes, you don't have the highest output, but you do have a good light that has good output. And so that's the first uh, kind of scenario where I would see this through 19W10 really working well for someone. The second would be if you are trying to equip multiple guns with weapon mounted lights. So say, you know, this isn't my only, you know, 9 mil pistol. So say I want this pistol to have a weapon mounted light, but I also want my other czp 10 c to have a weapon mounted light. So as a secondary or, you know, if I'm trying to get my guns that might not be frontline handguns lights so I can use them the same way that I use my frontline handgun, this is where I would also see the TW10 being pretty good because once again, it's not a high cost. It's not very cost prohibitive to get two, three, four of these flashlights and outfit multiple firearm setups with them. So that's ultimately where I see this flashlight or this weapon mounted light. It is a solid light from build quality. I don't have any complaints with it. It's just overall, I wish that it was a little bit higher output or if it is going to remain at the lower output, the 900 lumens, I wish that it was a little bit more compact because this uh, weapon mounted light would be a lot to CCW in my opinion. I'm not saying that there aren't people out there that don't what carry you know this large of a weapon mounted light uh in their on cc for in ccw setups but i think that if you were trying to appendix carry this whole package this would be a lot of weight and a lot of bulk to ccw so like i said for me uh this is a good home defense light but that's probably where i would keep this light not to say it's a bad light just fine but uh like i said it's a little big for ccw in my opinion so anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.